Okay, last time we made a really kids, a, a great kids favorite with the quesadillas and we had some vegetables, some spinach, some sun-dried tomatoes for the adult version. We're going to kind of do the same thing with this next, next uh, dish that we're going to take. We're going to just take your traditional macaroni and cheese and make it Italian. So we're going to make it Italian, old school way. Now, I'm going to show you real American cheese, I mean <laughs> macaroni and cheese. If you have to use the box, it still works. So you're forgiven. Just try and stay on task. Okay, real quick. First thing we're going to do, obviously, got my water boiling. By the way, this is going to be a gluten-free dish. So I am using a gluten-free pasta. My sausage, Italian sausage, gluten-free. So it's really good. We're going to use a little different than your normal elbow macaroni and cheese that you elbow uh, macaroni for macaroni and cheese just going with uh, the fusilli which is as we called it curlies um, salt a little oil in the water bring the boil some people don't uh, think you need salt and oil, salt and or oil argue with my mom my grandmother that's the way I was raised that's the way it's going to be for this little episode anyway so that's going to cook this time around, I am going to use the Tevrites hot sausage. Um, it's a little bolder flavor, a little more, a little more heat, and with the cheese and the dairy and all that, that's going to help flatten out some of the capsaicin that happens during the um, with with the heat portion of the sausage. So we're just going to go with the hotter version. Kids probably won't like that. So when you do for just the kids, do the mild; they'll enjoy it. Okay, so just going to slice this up here. And again, kind of one of those cut it at a bias guys, just because it's pretty. Um, so give me a couple minutes to do this, then you can come back and I'll tell you about who's on my shirt. Talk to you then. Okay, so you see I cut all the sausage into the bias. Got two and a half links there, so that's going to be plenty for what we're going to be making. Boils, water's boiling. Gonna save a little portion of this later for the cheese and the, uh, the sauce itself, and uh, a little bit of the broth, I should say. And I'm just gonna stir it here. The shirt. Some of you have asked me about who is this, who is on the shirt. If it's me, no. This is actually my father. He's about seven or eight years old. It has it's his first Holy Communion picture, and we photoshopped in a uh, package of Italian Tavares Italian sausage. So. Got to have a little fun with this and laugh at uh, laugh at life as it comes at you. So, rebranding, who knows if we'll ever do it again. But for now, this is uh, this is where we are. Kind of like the whole idea of it. All right, a couple more minutes. We'll be back. Okay, I pasta's cooked, straining in the sink. Uh, good news is it's kind of a one pan dish. Can never go wrong with that. Putting the sausage in, it's all ready. Um, pre-cooked. All I'm really going to do here is heat this up. There's no real cooking involved in this. Just going to put it in so it can actually just get to the same temperature what the pasta is and we're going to make the whole thing together and it should be nice and easy. Actually, give that a couple more seconds. It'll be fine. One of the things I also did was save a little of the uh, broth or water, if you will, from the cooking of the pasta. And that'll help thicken up the sauce as we cook through the cheese. Okay, pasta's in. Now it's just assembly, really. It's just kind of easy here. Stick of butter. Yes, a stick. That's why it's good. Stir it up. That's boring. Coating all the noodles, all the fusilli, curlies. Uh, got that going. Okay. One can of evaporated milk. Done. I'm going to add a couple eggs. Don't worry, the shells will stay on the bottom. 
<laughs> if you put that much in there. <laughs> Okay, just checking for shells. There it is, still there. Okay, that's done. Here we go with the cheese, not the front part. That is just over half a pound of really sharp cheddar cheese. Really sharp. I. If I'm going to eat macaroni and cheese, I want that sharp cheddar flavor. Otherwise, you know, the stuff in the box, it's convenient. My kids are older now. I've eaten enough of that stuff when they were kids. I want the good stuff now. So here we go. Just going to mix that in. Parmesan, I don't know, about a cup. Looks right to me. Okay, that is kind of the original recipe. A little, little wet mustard. You can put dry mustard in. About a tablespoon and a half, two tablespoons, mustard and sausage, can't go wrong, kind of works. All right, stir it up, let the fun begin. Quarter cup of that pasta sauce water, pasta water. Just going to let it, just going to help it marry the two items, marry the pasta, the cheese, everything in there together. It's, okay. I'm not allowed to like my stuff too much in, per in person, but you got to look at this. This thing is just unbelievably thickening, really getting nice and gooey, which is what macaroni and cheese should be. Macaroni and cheese should be gooey, not orange. I mean, orange is okay as long as it's real orange cheddar cheese. I used a white cheddar, as you saw. It's kind of my thing. I don't know why. Okay. What's happened is the sausage went in, it was cold, sliced it, put it into a hot pan. I don't think I even got it up a couple of temperature, a, temp, a couple of degrees from where it was when I first put it in. But I added this, but I added the pasta right on top of it. I got the butter on top of it. I got the uh, evaporated milk and the cheese and now, and the eggs. And now we're just going to warm it all the way through. Basically, you don't have to cook the sausage. It is, it's finished, it's done, it's in there. So give me a few more minutes. Come back and we'll add a couple of other things that'll make it more adult macaroni and cheese. This is really ready to go. I did not put any salt and pepper in this, as you noticed. Uh, sausage has salt and pepper in it. Uh, you can taste it like this, and if you want to add more, you can. So you can put garlic in there. You can do almost anything. So I would serve if you're going to serve it to kids. This is a great way, way to stop and serve it, but. If you're going to make it for an adult and you're going to do with it what I'm going to do with it today, which is use it as a side dish for uh, some grilled chicken I'm doing. I'm back to spinach. Yes, I do like my spinach. So raw, clean spinach. This is going to take it over the top. You can, again, sun-dried tomatoes if you like those, and I usually would put those in, but fresh tomatoes are in season, coming in season right now with the summer right around the corner, so it's still spring. This with the green spinach sausage, the what? Hey, look, it's the Italian flag, red, white, and green. I just made that. Uh, there you go, you're done. Serve this up, use it as a side dish. Again, sausage doesn't have to be the center of the plate. I use it as an ingredient, as you'll see throughout most of the series and what I'm gonna be doing for you taking everyday American dishes and making them Italian. So today we did good old fashioned American, American cheese, macaroni and cheese. See you next time.